हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम डिफ्रेंसिएशन इन्वॉल्विंग मॉडुलस फंक्शन राइट एंड हियर वी आर गिवन अ फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स विच इज इक्वल टू मॉड ऑफ टू माइनस मॉड ऑफ एक्स माइनस वन माइनस वन फॉर ऑल एक्स बिलोंगिंग टू द सेट ऑफ रियल नंबर राइट and here uh, we have to find the derivative of this function at these points that is uh, at minus 2 uh, 0 2 and 4 right so here uh, we are given a function uh, in which the modulus function is involved where this x uh, belongs to the set of uh, uh, real numbers and we have to find the derivative of uh, uh, this function f of x at the points uh, minus 2, uh, 0, uh, 2 and 4, right? So let us start. So now viewers, whenever we come across with uh, functions involving the modulus function, uh, what we usually do, uh, we first try to redefine the function f of x, right? So the first thing is to uh, redefine uh, this function uh, which involves the uh, modulus function or the absolute value function, right? So now see, uh, here uh, we have the um, uh, mod sign and inside the mod sign we have one more uh, mod sign that is mod of x minus 1, right? So let us first define uh, mod of x minus 1, right? So for this uh, we'll make use of the usual definition of uh, modulus function. So we have mod of y is defined like this that is mod of y is positive y whenever y is greater than 0 mod of y is 0 whenever y is equal to 0 and mod of y is equal to negative y whenever y is less than 0 right. So mod of x minus 1 can be defined on these lines. So mod of x minus 1 is equal to positive x minus 1 whenever this quantity inside the mod function is greater than 0, right? And mod of x minus 1 is uh, equal to 0 uh, whenever x minus 1 is equal to 0 and this is negative of x minus 1, mod of x minus 1 uh, whenever x minus 1 is less than 0, right? So we can solve these uh, three statements here. So x minus 1 greater than 0 implies x greater than 1. And here x is equal to 1. So when x is 1, mod of x minus 1 is obviously 0, right? And x minus 1 less than 0 implies x is less than 1, right? So this is how we can define mod of x minus 1, right? Okay, so now... Uh, once we have defined the mod of x minus 1, uh, we can define uh, f of x, right? So now uh, f of x uh, can be uh, redefined uh, after inducting uh, this definition of mod x minus 1 in this function f of x, right? So now f of x can be written as, uh, here we have a mod of 2 minus and when x is greater than 1 uh, then we have mod of x minus 1 is equal to uh, x minus 1 so here we have x minus 1 so mod of x minus 1 is replaced by x minus 1 and here we have minus 1 and uh, here we have x greater than 1 right and f of x uh, is equal to uh, mod of 2 minus 0 because here mod of x minus 1 is 0 whenever x is equal to 1, right? And similarly here uh, f of x is equal to mod of 2 uh, minus and mod of x minus 1 is minus x minus 1. So this minus and this minus get plus. So here we have x minus 1, right? And here we have minus 1. So here also we have minus 1, right? So here x is less than 1. So now uh, we can uh, rewrite this definition as f of x. And here we can uh, simplify uh, these three statements. So we have mod 
2 minus x plus 1 so here we have mod of 3 minus x and here we have minus 1 and this is valid for x greater than 1 right and here we have mod of 2 minus 0 is 2 so mod of 2 is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 uh, whenever x is equal to 1 right and here we have 2 minus 1 is 1 and we have plus x so this is mod of x plus 1 minus 1 uh, whenever x is less than 1 right so this function f of x which is valid for all x belonging to the set of real numbers uh, can be uh, redefined uh, like this right so for x greater than 1 f of x is mod of 3 minus x minus 1 and f of x is equal to 1 when x is equal to 1 and f of x is equal to mod of x plus 1 minus 1 whenever x is less than 1 right so now uh, we'll uh, use this definition of f of x uh, to find the derivative of f of x right so now uh, let us first uh, consider f prime of minus 2 right so now uh, we'll find f prime of minus 2 so here x is equal to uh, minus 2 right so we have to find the derivative of f of x at x is equal to minus 2 right so now we'll see uh, which part of this uh, uh, function f of x uh, may be utilized uh, to find the derivative of f of x right so we'll go uh, to this part right so here x is less than 1 and here we have x is equal to minus 2 and minus 2 is less than uh, 1 right okay so once we have selected that this part of the function uh, shall be used to find the derivative of f of x so we'll write it here so f of x is mod of x plus 1 minus 1 x is less than 1 right okay now see uh, here we have x is equal to 1 on the number line right and we have to find the derivative at x is equal to minus 2 right so x is equal to minus 2 it lies uh, somewhere here right and we have to find the derivative in the vicinity of x is equal to minus 2 so see uh, the uh, term which is inside this mod function symbol that is uh, uh, x plus 1 is negative uh, for x is equal to minus 2 right because when we uh, substitute x is equal to minus 2 here uh, we'll get minus 2 plus 1 that is uh, minus 1 which is negative right so by definition of mod function uh, we can uh, write mod of x plus 1 is uh, equal to negative of x plus 1 uh, whenever uh, x plus 1 is less than 0 right and when we solve x plus 1 less than 0 we'll get x less than minus 1 and here x is minus 2 and minus 2 is obviously less than minus uh, 1 right so mod of x plus 1 uh, is replaced by negative of x plus 1 and here we have minus 1 right so now we can simplify it so minus x minus 1 and minus 1 so this is minus x minus 2 right so now f of x is equal to uh, negative of x uh, minus uh, 2 so the derivative of f of x that is f prime of x is equal to uh, d by dx of minus x minus 2 so the derivative of x is 1 so we have minus 1 the derivative of 2 is 0 right so f prime of x is equal to minus 1 and for x is equal to minus 2 uh, we have f prime of minus 2 is equal to minus 1 right so the value of f prime of minus 2 is equal to minus 1 now let us find f prime of 0 right so here uh, we have to find the derivative of f of x uh, at x is equal to 0 
right and see uh, again we have to select that part of this function f of x uh, which uh, uh, which gives us uh, x is equal to 0 right so again uh, we have this part that is x is less than 1 right so when uh, f of x is mod x plus 1 minus 1 uh, when x is less than 1 and here we have 0 so x is equal to 0 is obviously less than 1 so we'll use this part of this uh, function uh, to find the derivative right so f of x is equal to mod of x plus 1 minus 1 right okay now see uh, in the vicinity of x is equal to 0 so here x is equal to uh, 0 right and again by definition of uh, mod function uh, we see that in the vicinity of x is equal to 0 x plus 1 is a positive quantity right so in the vicinity or in the neighborhood of x is equal to 0 x plus 1 is positive right so we can write mod of x plus 1 uh, is equal to positive x plus 1 uh, whenever x plus 1 is greater than 0 right so if we solve x plus 1 greater than 0 we have x greater than minus 1 right and when x is equal to 0 so 0 is obviously greater than minus 1 right so now we can replace mod of x plus 1 by plus x plus 1 so we have f of x is equal to positive x plus 1 minus 1 so here uh, 1 minus 1 is 0 so we have uh, f of x is equal to x right and if we differentiate uh, f of x so f prime of x is equal to the derivative of x which is equal to 1 right so f prime of x is equal to 1 so when we take x is equal to 0 so f prime of 0 is equal to 1 or positive 1 right so the value of f prime of 0 is equal to uh, plus 1 now let us take the third part so here we have f prime of 2 right so it means we have to find the derivative of f of x at x is equal to 2 right so here on the number line x is equal to 2 it lies somewhere here right so now to find the derivative of uh, f of x at x is equal to 2 uh, let us select uh, this part right so now uh, when x is equal to 2 uh, we have to take the form of uh, f of x as a uh, mod of 3 minus x uh, minus 1 right because here x is greater than 1 and we have x is equal to 2 right and x is equal to 2 is obviously greater than 1 right okay now in the neighborhood of x is equal to 2 uh, see uh, again by definition of mod function uh, this quantity that is mod of 3 minus x is positive uh, 3 minus x in the vicinity or in the neighborhood of x is equal to 2 right because uh, when we take x is equal to 2 in 3 minus x so this is 3 minus 2 that is 1 which is a positive quantity right so that's why here we have positive so now f of x is uh, uh, mod 3 minus x is uh, positive 3 minus x here we have minus 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so we have 2 minus x and now the derivative of f of x is f prime of x which is uh, d by dx of 2 minus x and the derivative of 2 is 0 being a constant so here uh, the derivative of x is 1 so we have minus 1 so f prime of x in this case is minus 1 so when we take x is equal to 2 then we have f prime of 2 is equal to minus 1 right so the value of f prime of 2 is uh, equal to minus 1 
so now uh, let us uh, find the derivative of this function uh, at x is equal to 4 right so we have to find f prime of 4 and uh, we have x is equal to 4 right so here we have x is equal to 4 now see uh, x is equal to 4 uh, is greater than 1 right so again we have to make use of this part of the function right so in this case uh, we'll take f of x is equal to mod of 3 minus x minus 1 right because f of x is defined like this for x greater than 1 and 4 is obviously greater than 1 right now see in the neighborhood of x is equal to 4 uh, this quantity that is 3 minus x so 3 minus 4 uh, will take x is equal to 4 here so 3 minus 4 is minus 1 uh, which is a negative quantity right so by definition of mod function uh, mod of 3 minus x can be written as negative of 3 minus x right in the neighborhood of x is equal to uh, 4 so now uh, mod of 3 minus x can be replaced by a negative of 3 minus x and here we have minus 1 so we can solve this uh, expression so we have minus 3 plus x minus 1 so we have x minus 4 right so f of x is now equal to x minus 4 so the derivative f prime of x is d by dx of x minus 4 so the derivative of x is 1 the derivative of 4 is 0 because this is a constant quantity 4 and the derivative of a constant is 0 right so we have 1 here so f prime of x is equal to 1 so when we take x is equal to 4 here uh, we have f prime of 4 is equal to 1 or positive 1 right so the value of f prime of 4 is equal to plus 1 right so viewers this is how uh, by making use of the concept of uh, mod function uh, we can solve uh, these type of problems related to differentiation